we are preparing to hit the road on our longest trip to date, Florida to Arizona. Our first leg of the journey takes us from central West Florida to Pensacola, where we will stop for the night and prepare ourselves for a 10 hour trip to San Antonio, Texas the following day. We've been planning and preparing for this trip for many months using more checklists than we care to mention. We washed our ever faithful towed vehicle, a 2014 Jeep Wrangler, which in our opinion is one of the best tow vehicles for RVing because it is simple to modify for a tow bar easy to set up, and very versatile for on-road and off-road adventures. We have planned meals that will be easy to prepare on the road. We have tucked food in every inch of the kitchen storage compartments, and even found a use for the bags we use to carry the food out to the RV. And then we'll just make sure it's nice and firm so nothing can come out. Put a couple bags in the front. Purposing. <laughs> Recycling. On this trip, we needed to bring summer and fall clothing as the temperatures will range between the mid 50s and the high 90s. Our solar system needed a boost, so we purchased three more 100 watt solar panels to give us a total of 430 watts. Our bills are paid in advance. The mail is placed on hold, the main water line turned off, and the thermostat raised a bit to cut down on power usage. We finished all our packing and now we're ready to hit the road. We're back. Good it's morning. about, I'll show you in a second, honey. It's about 3.30. Um, everything was fine. Nothing happened, nothing unusual. It wasn't it easy to sleep at Walmart? But it was just, at least it was a nice place to sleep. We were safe. And we're off. We're gonna head on down the road. Probably stop later, maybe take a little nap at a rest area. Anyways, we'll see you soon. Sun is rising on a new day, and we're in a new time zone, soon to be in a different state. We've already seen, what, five deer this morning? Oh yeah. Just sitting on the side of the road. Munching. I think we've only been through the panhandle. This is the second time. Well, third, I guess, officially. Yeah, three times. Um, and we never remember that it's so hilly. But it's got a lot more hills than most of Florida. We're surprised each time. Maybe this time we'll remember. 
one mile. Oh, it feels good to be getting out of Florida and moving forward. Yeah. Such adventure awaits for all of us. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Alabama, y'all. Welcome to Alabama. We have this um, Grand McNally GPS, which we'll review later. But you're allowed to set different sounds for specific places of interest. We have one set for Cracker Barrel. So we're going to film it so you can hear it. There it is. That's the best Cracker Barrel <laughs> alarm ever. <laughs> okay, we're hungry. We're going to go eat. All of us are finally awake now. Some not so willing. Some are bright eyed, bushy tailed. Some are not. <laughs> downtown and there's New Orleans the other side that was a big bridge okay we're on the west side of Louisiana and we've come across this gem of a road and I want you to just listen for a little while as you can see I can't even hardly hold the camera because it's a it's a real gem This has been going on for many miles. My iPad has fallen off of its pedestal, landed on the floor, and everything is sliding down. So this, just to warn you, if you're gonna take I-10, you run into this, this, this fantastic road that just goes on and on and on like this. Bump after bump after bump. The joys of the road. There's a Texas state line. There's a river. Woohoo! Welcome oh. to Texas. Welcome to Texas. Right now we're at a flying J, right? Yep. And uh, there's uh, parking spaces behind the flying J that are really, you know, for for large trucks. Most of the trucks around us are are 18 wheelers, and I don't know really how to describe it, but imagine. 20, 30, 18 wheelers all running their motors um, so that they can either stay cool or have power or whatever it is that they're doing, sleeping at night. And you can just hear this low grumble. This low grumble. It's, it's, yeah. It's really, honestly, not that bad. No. It's, it's fairly. Quiet. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. Inside the RV, we're not hearing a lot of it and most likely by the time we lay down in the next five or ten minutes <laughs> it'll probably help us fall asleep yeah so it's not bad um and i feel relatively safe that there's a lot of people around us where the walmart it was just us it was just us out there and uh i don't know i'm, I'm not sure i haven't really made a decision yet about whether i liked it or didn't like it it was okay it was great that they allowed it absolutely I, i'm not sure yet if that would be my first choice Good morning. We are off and on the road again. Um, this was time that we're going to Albuquerque. It looks like instead of the 10 hour drive, drive Rob was thinking, it looks like it's a 14. Uh, we slept at the Flying J. I think it went rather well. Yeah, pretty good for me. Um, the noise of the generators from all the 5,000 trucks that were there didn't bother us one bit. Temperatures have been really relatively not overwhelmingly hot like we anticipated, so that's good. Anyway, we're going to be passing San Antonio soon because we were like 10 miles outside, 11 miles outside San Antonio at the Flying J. And 
we're going towards El Paso. Don't they make salsa in El Paso? Yes. Old El Paso? Yes. <laughs> awesome. Some salsa. California. New York City. New York City, that was it. New York City, get a rope. <laughs> <laughs> Some commercial advertisers are going to be like, see, I told you it would work. We haven't used that one for years. It's just so incredibly vast out here. Everywhere you look, you can look for hundreds of miles and see like and there's like nothing it's very cool we also don't have cell service up here okay we're doing well we just stopped to get some gas and uh, I wasn't sure because we have the Jeep hooked up and it used the brake assist and it's just plugged in the cigarette lighter but we don't have any other way to charge the battery so I decided should let the uh, Jeep ride for a little bit just to give it a bit of a charge of the battery. And everything's been doing well. We've, we've run uh, with that brake assist. Um, I think it's the Patriot. We've run it for, you know, 10, 12 hours and it hasn't had any trouble. The battery started right up. But I thought uh, since this is the second day and we've gone again another four hours or so, um, I'd go ahead and let the engine run for a little bit on uh, Jeep. As you can see, our our poor Molly's gotten a bit dirty with this trip out here. <laughs> I guess that whole idea of cleaning up the uh, <laughs> cleaning up the Jeep before we took off really didn't help that much. So she's going to need a bit of a bath by the time uh, we get settled. to the border. We just seen our first border control crossing vehicle and station. We were so excited. We didn't know what it was. We're like, what's that? We're like, oh my gosh, it's border patrol. And then we realized just how close to Mexico we are right now. Just over there. Dust? I don't know. It's just a red dust storm. Remember the sign said, beware of dust? Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh no. Where Very cool. Oh yeah. That's, that's, that's what happened. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. That's horrible. Yeah, someone done flipped. That's not good. Beware of dust. Wonder it's obviously that. more dangerous than we thought. Yeah. yeah I wonder if that flipped it. Oh. It was a dust devil, probably. Yeah, it flipped it crazy and now you get to see it too well this is the reason why you have to really stay awake and pay attention when you're driving ah, that we've seen more guardrails destroyed in Texas than anywhere else Zargosa International Bridge goes from El Paso to Ciudad Juarez and he's got a chicken. I've never seen an international bridge before. Neither. We're on the last leg of our trip today. Yeah. We're getting ready to cross the border. Uh, Ooh, look at that look stuff. At that. Oh, that's, that's stuff. Those that's are for the windmills. 
for the windmills, yeah. Oh, very cool. I didn't realize they were that big. Those are enormous. Wow, amazing. Look at the mountains in the background. Wow. Oh, wow. El Paso's a pretty place. Yeah. Just uh, very busy. Very busy. Very busy. Lots of folks. I didn't see it popular. You know what I don't see on our trip so far? The signs that say, you know, this city, population, blah, yeah. blah, blah. We are five miles from the border into New Mexico. We're on the last mile. Last mile. And we get to say goodbye to Texas for a while. Until we meet. Oh, look at their their exit to Texas. It's got like a star on the each side. Oh. The last bridge. And we are almost there. I see the sign. Welcome, Welcome to, to New Mexico. Mexico. Land of enrichment. Enchantment. Enchantment. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> vision's not what it used to be. <laughs> Hi, we're at Fort Selden Rest Area. It's beautiful. It's got cute little picnic areas, and the backdrop is mountains. It's really nice. And yeah. it's hot. I don't know about hot. I like it. I like it too. through our very first inspection station. Never been through this before. Do we go through the truck one? And just in case you were not caught on the first camera, there are 17 other cameras that will catch you in the action. Look at all these. these. Cameras. Oh, are those all cameras? All cameras. Why did we should wave? <laughs> I'm curious what each one is good for capturing. Uh, um, I don't know which one we're supposed to go in. Do we go in the trucks? Yeah. No, uh, cars, commercial trucks, so no. Oh. That, that, we're not a commercial truck. No. I think we just go straight. So they have to do this every single time. If they live here, even. Wow. Yeah. I guess you gotta take that into your consideration for your route for your daily drive. Yeah. Changed it. <laughs> 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 
It smells mm -hmm. like ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the Rio Grande. If you can see it. Sorry for the hazy, our windows are dirty. The Rio Grande. Oh gosh. There it is, the Rio Grande. It's a little low. And we are very close to Albuquerque. It's very exciting. There is Albuquerque. Yay! Welcome to Albuquerque. End of day three. Oh! I made it. I hit him. want that carrot. It's You're probably right going to wait until we go in, I bet. It's right there. <laughs> Come on. Don't tell anybody. We had an incident with the um, windshield wiper. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah. And uh, I don't know what happened, but going down the road, went to turn on the windshield wiper and it went up, never came back down, pulled over and it would go, but the for whatever reason the motor is just what it was not strong enough to oh, make it go please. through its yeah it just wouldn't go through its full um, range range. So I went ahead and took off <laughs> one of the windshield wipers and left on the driver's side, and the motor has enough power to be able to power the one, so at least we're safe enough to drive um, in case it rains. But there's some funny parts to that, and we'll show you that video. We were going down the road, we had a little problem with the windshield wiper. For some reason, the motor is a little weak, and uh, we'll have to get that checked. But my solution was to take one of the windshield wipers off. And of course, I took it off of the passenger side because I need to see on the driver's side. But uh, when I took it off, I went to go check to see if it would work, and uh, I wanted to see our new anti theft device. <laughs> or anti anti road rage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if anybody gets too close to the RV or maybe pulls in front of me, I can just shoot it with my windshield washer fluid. <laughs> <laughs> so, there it is. Ideas for the RV lifestyle. <laughs> we slept at a Cracker Barrel in Albuquerque. And we headed on over to Flagstaff. It was about a five hour drive. And when we left the Cracker Barrel, we stopped at a rest stop because we left Albuquerque probably at like four, four in the morning. Yeah, it was early. Uh, and we got out of there, and being that it wasn't going to take a lot of time to get to Flagstaff, we pulled over at some random truck stop Denny's place and just hung out for a while and had some Denny's for breakfast. And we're waking up and looking at the city lights. Good morning. Getting ready to head towards Flagstaff. I don't know what city it is, but hopefully you can see it. It looks as pretty as it does from up here. We don't really know what it is, if it's a city or not, but... Okay, that was not a city. That is Route 66 Casino and Travel Center. Huge! It's huge. <laughs> we thought it was a little city. It's lit up like Vegas. That's awesome. Sun is starting to creep up over the mountains. It's a beautiful morning. It is. We're probably 25 miles away from Gallup, New Mexico. The temperatures are going down. Way down. We don't know the exact one amount, but we just touched the windows and it felt like it should snow. Remember, we're from Florida. <laughs> oh, we were talking about having to put on uh, long pants and long sleeves and a jacket. You can see how beautiful the mountains are with the sun creeping up. Gorgeous.
I don't know if we're picking up the colors yet because it's still slightly dark. But it's beautiful colors. Picking up the morning sun. We're going to stop at a pilot for a little bit. Let the sun come up so we can get better pictures. We can't check into our KOA until probably about 3, so we have time. Look at them. Woo! Big cave looking thing. Oh, yeah, that is a cave. Cool. Again? What? Oh, now it's only nine. I just dig this rock. It's so beautiful. I know it's going by kind of fast, but it's got great striations in there. Beautiful. There it goes. Woo, Welcome Arizona! to Arizona! Woo! And a big beautiful rock to greet us. I just want to touch that rock, that's nice. Yeah, that's Many dream of changing their life. Many fear that change and never take the first step. Everyone fears failure, but nothing good can come if you don't take that chance. If you don't take the first step, you may live the rest of your life wondering what if I would have taken that step? What would my life be like today? Adventure is just a step away.